Hi guys. Before you take off for that international trip, there are five things that you need to know so you can be as prepared as possible and have a seamless transition while flying overseas. If you care to know what those five tips are, then keep watching. Hi guys, this is Shelly with King Clean Travel and I have five tips for you if you are preparing for international travel. Whether that's going to take place before the year ends or into the new year 2020. You want to know these five things so that you can be prepared and be sure that you have a seamless trip, an easy transition, and there's no stopping you or anything that's going to get in your way and hinder your trip from taking place. And so here are those five tips to help you be prepared for that international travel. Tip number one is to make sure you have a passport. I knew you guys knew this, but I just had to say it and add it to my list. Make sure you have a passport. If you don't, go to the Department of State's website and get the application, download the application and start that process now for your passport. You wanna do so because you don't want to have to pay expediting fees in order to get your passport to you before you take flight. So look into that now because it does take several weeks for it to come back to you. And there are some very important documents you need to have in order to start that process. So if you don't have them, at least it gives you an opportunity to get copies of them, official copies, not just copies, but official copies of them so that you can go on and apply for a passport. Additionally, if you do have a passport, you want to check the expiration date because you want to make sure that your expiration date is not six months prior to your trip. If it is, you too will be in the same scenario, excuse me, same scenario as someone who is applying for the first time. You may have to pay expedition fees or uh, expediting fees rather for having your renewed passport requests um, honored before your trip. So definitely take a look at the expiration date and make sure you're good to go and that it's not going to expire within six months of your trip. Okay. So that was tip number one, making sure you have a passport. Tip number two is you want to make copies of your passport. And here's why. You always want to have one in a safe place, whether that's a uh, safe what they call those things at the bank, um, a safe deposit box, or if you have it secured somewhere in your home, but you want to keep one copy, um, and preferably in color. Um, but it's not necessary, but personal preference is that it's in color, but you want to keep one copy at home for safeguarding. And then you want to give the second copy to your emergency point of contact, because if anything should happen to you, overseas internationally that person can be your spokesperson here back in the states that has an official copy of your passport and so you want to be sure that you're keeping one for safekeeping and then two have one with available or left behind with your emergency point of contact you never know what may happen but you always want to be prepared so make copies um three you want to check the State Department's website for three things. First, the, C, the security level and the risk in traveling to that international uh, country. You want to be sure that there are no uh, elevated risk uh, for or security risk for that country. If so, you want to know what they are because you want to know what you are going into so that you can be prepared and kept safe at all times. Two, the second reason why you want to look at the State Department's website is because you want to get the address of the U.S. Embassy. Make sure you get the address of the U.S. Embassy. You always want to know where your safe place is in the country that you are traveling to so that if anything happens, if you you know, misplace or lose your passport or something happens, God forbid, you will know where to go and who will take care of you 
uh, to get you back into the States. So you want to know the address of the U S embassy in the country to where you are traveling. And then thirdly, you want to check the state department website because you want to find out if there are any required immunizations for the country that you are going to travel to, because if they are, you need to start making preparations with making appointments with your primary physician to be sure that you're getting the shots that you need that will clear you for traveling to the country that you're going to. Not all countries require immunizations, but you want to be sure that you are checking to see if the country you are going to travel to does require immunizations so that you can get them in in the time frame that they need to be administered before you take travel. Four, four, you want to go to, when you get to the airport, you want to be sure that as you are going through security or going through customs that you have your driver's license, your passport, and uh, for security, I know you need your ticket, you need your boarding pass. So make sure you have at least your driver's license and your passport in hand. But when you're going through security, also make sure you have your boarding pass for your flight in your hand because they are going to make markings on it from looking at your um, validating your identity from your ID from your driver's license and your passport they're going to write on your boarding pass so make sure you have those handy that will help you get through the process much smoother and much faster so make sure you have those things in your hand and then fifth while you're in flight whether you're going into the country or coming back home there's going to be a declaration card given to you and it will be one per family so when you get that card fill it out in its entirety and be truthful with the things that you are taking into the country and those things that you are bringing out most of the time it's um there, there are questions regarding the value of the goods that you are bringing or taking in and whether or not your trip is business or pleasure related be sure that you are filling that card out in its entirety and truthfully remember there's one card per family so if you're traveling with a spouse or your immediate family you only need to fill it out for one you only need one card but if you are traveling with someone else that is not a relative then you too will need to fill out a card individually but that declaration card is typically given to you on the last leg of your flight before entering into the country or before coming into the u.s so be sure that you take a pen with you and you have it handy somewhere in your carry-on item so that you can be sure that you are able to fill out that card in its entirety and have it ready to present to customs when you're coming back into the states or going into the country that your your final destination will be so as a recap there are five things that you want to be sure that you take care of before you take off for an international flight and the very first one was having a passport making sure you have one and if you do have one making sure that it's not due to expire within six months of your trip two you want to be sure that you make copies of it leave one in a safe place either in your home or a safe deposit box if you have one and then leave the other copy with your emergency point of contact in case anything happens to you they at least have your passport information to provide to authorities or whomever that may need to know or validate your identity as a u.s citizen and then three checking the state department's website for the security risk uh, or, or um, the warnings rather, uh, two for any immunizations required, and then three, making sure that you find the address for the U.S. Embassy in the country that you are traveling to. Four, you want to be sure that you have all your valid documents or necessary documents in your hand as you're going through customs and security. That would be your passport, your driver's license, and at times your um, boarding pass, or if you're going through customs, you will also need that declaration card for when you're going into the country and when you're coming um, back into the US. Have that declaration card filled out. And then 
fifth was the declaration card when you're in flight to fill it out and it's one per family if you're traveling with someone that's not a relative then you each will have to fill out a card so be sure that you have a pen handy so that you can fill out that card in an absolute detail and be sure that you are declaring the value of the goods that you are transporting into and out of the country so those are five tips on how you can be prepared best prepared for international travel and be sure that your flight and your travel are just as seamless and safe as possible. I hope you guys got value from today's episode. If you did, definitely give us thumbs up. Let us know what your took away, what your aha moment was. And if you are enjoying this type of content that we're giving to you every Tuesday on as our travel tip Tuesday, definitely subscribe to our channel so that you can be and hit that little bell so that you can be notified as to when new episodes go live. We try to upload these every Tuesday and bring something of value to you so that you can be an informed traveler. And if you are in the market for booking your next vacation, but you don't have the time or the luxury to really do the research, then allow us to take that burden off your hands. Look down in the description box. There will be a link that says bookmynextvacation.net. That's bookmynextvacation.net. Go ahead, put your email address in and immediately we will send over to you our customer VIP request form. Fill that out in its entirety and send it back to us. We will definitely do the research for you, provide you with at least three quotes within 24 to 48 hours of receiving your request. You make the decision on where it is and what you want to lock in and we'll take care of the rest. We are here for you because you know why? The world is waiting and you deserve to see it. Take care. We'll see you in the next episode.